Hello everyone. Do you know that behind the green fields lies the relentless effort of farmers? Now, let's explore the American agricultural fields where farmers grow and harvest millions of tons of crops every year. Welcome to California, where celery is grown year-round. The celery fields stretch like a vibrant green sea, with rows of tall and robust celery plants creating a lively and fresh landscape. As the sun rises early in the morning, American farmers begin their harvest celery workday, wearing wide-brimmed hats and button-up shirts, and carrying harvesting tools. The cutting and packing team starts at one end of the field and gradually moves toward the other end. Quickly and precisely, they cut the entire celery plant, including the roots and top. Interestingly, the cutting tool also serves as a measuring tool, designed based on standard sizes so that celery can be packed into nylon bags or pre-prepared plastic containers. Here, celery is washed with water to remove any dirt. The harvesting team works diligently to produce quality crates of celery. It may be time-consuming, but they need to remove damaged celery before it goes into the crates. Another group of workers is responsible for loading these crates onto trucks, which are then transported to a central facility for final processing before being distributed to the market, such as supermarkets or local markets. Leave a number one in the comments if you'd like to join us on these amazing farms. In the vineyards of Central California, the deep green grape leaves provide an ideal backdrop for these ripe purple grapes that cover the entire vineyard. The farmers are gearing up for the first harvest of the season. From the early days of planting, the grapevines are carefully tended to, and when it's time for harvest, farmers continue to inspect each grape cluster to determine ripeness and quality. Right after cutting, you can see they remove any damaged grapes from the cluster. This process takes time compared to continuous harvesting, but it helps prevent damaged grapes from affecting the others in the cluster. All these steps are performed swiftly and accurately to ensure the grapes are uniformly sized, visually appealing, and fresh. The grape crates are positioned under the vine, and a vehicle collects them. This way, Farmers save time moving back and forth and can focus on harvesting grapes.
compared to some other fruits, grape harvesting is a more technical and delicate process. Additionally, the deep knowledge of grapes held by American farmers contributes to the quality and distinctive taste of American grapes, highly sought after in the market. Do you know where we are? We are currently in an orange grove in Florida. Tall orange trees stand, each branch carrying clusters of ripe oranges, creating a magnificent scene. You can see the deep green leaves of the trees covering the prominent orange. When 90% of the orange grove has turned orange, along with the intense fragrance permeating the air, it's a sign that they are ready for harvesting. Early in the morning, farmers enter the orange grove with enthusiasm and passion. They wear protective clothing and carry large baskets to hold the first oranges of the season. Afterward, they gently cut each orange from the trees and arrange them in bags. When the bags are full, farmers pull them into crates, handling them very carefully to avoid damaging the fruit. Ladders are valuable tools for citrus harvesters, they use them to reach the oranges at the top. Everything is done meticulously by experienced fruit harvesters, as the height and weight of the oranges can cause injury under the bright sunlight. Goodbye to the orange growth, let's move on to a manually harvested crop. These vibrant red apple orchards are a crucial part of American agriculture, thriving in states like Washington, New York, Michigan, and the Appalachian regions. The timing of apple harvesting depends on the apple variety and specific climate conditions of each region. Farmers often assess the ripeness of apples to determine when to harvest, choosing sunny days for the task. Similar to harvesting oranges, they use ladders to pick the apples from tall trees.
farmers start harvesting from one end of the apple orchard and work their way through until the truck is full. Then, they transport the apples to a storage facility for sorting and preservation. Harvesting apples from tall trees is not an easy task. You can observe the careful consideration, strength, and skills of the farmers at this orchard. They work diligently to complete the harvest before it's too late. On average, they harvest about 15 to 30 bags like these each day. After filling the bags, farmers gently pour the apples out and remove stems and leaves from the crates. They organize and classify the apples based on size and quality. Do you like carrot juice? Are you curious about how farmers create these delicious fresh carrots? Join us on a journey to vast farms to explore how farmers harvest carrots. In modern agriculture, the adoption of advanced machinery in the cultivation and harvesting of carrots plays an undeniable and crucial role. These machines are not just simple tools, they are decisive factors in the success and efficiency of agricultural operations. Thanks to their automation capabilities and precise control, these machines can cultivate and harvest carrots efficiently and quickly, providing a substantial yield in a short amount of time. This translates to increased productivity and optimized use of agricultural resources. In Canada, carrot harvesting has been simplified and made more efficient through the use of self-propelled harvesting machines. These machines assist farmers in precision and gentle cutting of the carrots. Modern machines are equipped with special conveyor belts to transport the harvested carrots to tractors or trailers. 
This helps maintain a continuous flow in the harvesting process and speeds up the transportation of carrots from the field to storage or the next processing stage. Would you like to own a modern harvesting machine like this on your farm? Firstly, let's explore the distinctive development of pheasants. Although not originally native to the United States, they've successfully been introduced and thrived in many states. This is one of the bird species that was once heavily hunted in North America, leading to a decline in their numbers. This prompted farmers to breed pheasants to conserve and bolster the population. As you may know, pheasants possess strong flying abilities a characteristic that poses challenges in their management. To address this issue, farmers often have to construct tightly enclosed pens with protective netting systems, preventing pheasants from flying into the outskirts and safeguarding them against potential hazards from the surrounding environment. Each female pheasant has the ability to lay about four eggs per week from April to July. Thanks to human intervention, the hatching rate of these eggs has significantly increased from 40% to at least 75%. Thanks to human intervention, the hatching process of pheasant chicks takes approximately 25 days. After hatching, the chicks are carefully examined and then packaged into ventilated transport boxes. Within 60 hours, they're transported to other farms to continue the nurturing process. We hope that this information provides new insights into the hatching process of pheasants. If you find it useful, please leave a 1 in the comment section, and conversely, leave a 0 if you dislike it. Upon arrival at the farm, these chicks are nurtured with a protein-rich diet to optimize digestion. As they grow, their diet gradually transitions from a soft to a hard form, suitable for their growth stage. The next step in the care process will focus on limiting poultry farming in confined spaces. The chicks will be provided with ample space necessary for their development. During the summer, 
they'll be supplemented with additional greens in their diet. Do you know why the nostrils on these pheasants are covered when they're only three to four weeks old? Pheasants, like many other meat-eating birds, often face issues of feather pecking and cannibalism when raised in confinement. The poultry farming industry has introduced measures to control this condition by using covers. This is one of the solutions aimed at ensuring the comfort and health of the pheasants during their care. Typically, pheasants are raised in confined environments until they reach about eight weeks old. After this period, they've usually developed enough to withstand and adapt to the natural environment. When pheasants reach maturity, the cover on their nostrils is usually removed to reduce the risk of injury and enhance respiratory experimentation. This process is typically carried out gently to ensure the comfort of the pheasants. Do you know for what purpose these pheasants are raised? Exactly, pheasants are raised to serve as a food source. Pheasant meat not only is a delicious food option but also provides significant nutritional va. It is a high-quality protein source, offering all the essential amino acids needed for the human body. Protein helps in building and maintaining muscles, supporting recovery after exercise, and providing energy for the body. Goodbye to the pheasants. Here, have you ever thought about raising wild animals? Right now, let's explore this farm. For a long time, bison has become an icon of the culture and history of native tribes in North America. They are often seen as symbols of strength, patience, and freedom. To successfully raise this breed of cattle, first and foremost, it's crucial to provide them with a spacious and secure environment. There is no need to invest in modern machinery or expensive farming systems. You just need to build a reliable fencing system. A reality has shown that farms focusing more on economic aspects than ecological aspects may face challenges in sustaining and developing sustainability. Therefore, farmers have decided to embark on a significant innovation, opting for forest cattle farming, a decision they had not made before. Bison are tough and adaptable, as well as adept at self-defense in harsh weather conditions. 90% of forest bison breed in April and May. They give birth without assistance, and the calves quickly become independent. At the farm, they are provided with daily supplementary food.
farmers combined soybean husks, corn kernels, fermented corn, and wheat flour to support the appropriate growth of bison calves. On average, each forest bison consumes about 5 pounds of this food daily. Do you find raising these bison easier than traditional breeds? If so, comment with the number one in the comments, after about a year, the bison meeting the standards will be sent to auction markets. Currently, the price of a forest bison ranges from $3,000 to $77,000, depending on various factors such as appearance, origin, degree of purity, and other factors. On the first day of the harvest season, black grape farmers in the Serbian countryside begin to prepare for the most important work of the year, harvesting the ripe grapes to make great wine drops. And in their busyness, the common Victor Z, one of the most modern black currant harvesters, was put into operation. As the machine rolls through the rows of grapes, the best grapes are harvested. Given the importance of wine in the local economy, it is indeed an extremely important and necessary machine in the Serbian wine industry. And this is a special cabbage growing machine called CNM Conveyor Planter. It is one of the most popular and preferred conveyor transplanters in North America. With a 10 glass conveyor belt, this machine can grow from 4,500 to 5,500 plants an hour per row, with only one person working. With the convenience and efficiency of this machine, growing cabbage becomes simpler and faster than ever. Let's move on to other giant machines. The 2016 Fent Power Potato Lifter is a state-of-the-art farm equipment designed to quickly and efficiently lift potatoes from the ground and into the container. With its high capacity and ability to work in harsh conditions, this machine has become an important tool in agricultural production. It is equipped with a powerful engine, which can operate in many different types of terrain. The design of the machine is also very flexible and convenient, with the for total growth and development. You see, intelligent ways of working always bring outstanding results. How long does it take the farmer to plant 10,000 strawberries? This laborious and time-consuming job has now been solved with a water wheel transplanter. Farmers have applied many modern farming techniques to ensure that crops are planted at the correct position and standard depth. To help get plants off to a good start in the growing season, farmers use starter fertilizers that are high in phosphorus in the water. This gives the plant the nutrients it needs to grow and strengthens its resistance to diseases and pests. Farmers have also used black plastic mulch to limit weed growth and create suitable temperature conditions for the soil.
This helps the plant not to waste excess energy but to use enough power to grow and develop well. To water the plants, the farmer used drip tape and threaded it inside the circle of the plant. They used this drip tape to generate one in of rain each week, ensuring the plants are always supplied with the water they need for total growth and development. You see, intelligent ways of working always bring outstanding results. The importance of modern machinery in agricultural production is indisputable. This machine has helped farmers a lot in the harvesting process. The row independent corn chopper is one of the essential tools in modern agriculture, especially the livestock industry. The machine is capable of chopping corn into small and even pieces, making the corn stage process easier. It helps the food production process to be fast, saving time and effort while ensuring the quality and uniformity of the food. Thanks to the development of these technologies, modern agriculture is increasingly capable of producing and providing safe and diverse food for consumers. Super strong are the words used to describe the power of this stone cutter. Come with us to a broccoli farm. Fresh broccoli, after being harvested, will be put on a 14M long conveyor belt. Then, the carousel will take them to the boxes placed below. With this method of harvesting, vegetables will keep fresh when they reach consumers. This farm's delicious broccoli will be a great addition to your meal, full of nutrition and great in taste. Yagoda Jurich 5 is an advanced berry harvester designed to harvest berries such as strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and others. The machine has the ability to automatically adjust the height to suit the terrain and the growth of the plants. Farmers do not have to spend much effort compared to manual harvesting. Machinery is increasingly being upgraded to suit the needs of large farms. These powerful machines can gently handle your crops. These are advanced devices that are well worth the investment. Without the support of machines, how will you have to complete this work? I'm sure it will be a tremendous challenge for your body. There was a farmer named John who lived on a small farm on the outskirts of the city. John has always been passionate about farming and looking for ways to improve his harvest. When John started using the 460 plus cure to harvest barley, he realized the power of the machine. The machine can cut and harvest barley quickly and accurately, ensuring the best quality harvested product. Moreover, the automatic cutting and computer control systems help him precisely control all machine operations. With the help of the 460 Plus Care, John harvested a large amount of barley in the shortest time possible and with the best product quality. He is delighted with his decision to invest in the new machine and hopes it will help him improve his productivity and increase his income in the coming years. This is an upgraded version of the rye harvester, 
with many significant improvements. With a working width of up to 7.5 m, the machine efficiently harvests the whole silage. The cutting height is ideally aligned to ensure that the raw ash content of the hay is significantly reduced, while the hay quality is increased. In particular, the 475 Plus is also designed with advanced technology to help adjust the cutting height to match the size of the crop, ensuring an efficient harvesting process and saving time for farmers. With the development of technology and constant innovation, good machines have been improved and upgraded to meet the needs of farmers and improve production efficiency. Currently, it is considered one of the best land reclamation machines on the market and is widely used in the world. This machine has a unique shield with many thin iron rods, which generate the kinetic energy of compressing and winding the soil, making the soil improvement more even and efficient. In particular, it is used in soil improvement for crops such as rice, maize, vegetables, tomatoes, and coffee. This type of machine can work well on a variety of soils and can also be used to minimize the impact of weeds on crop land. We hope to continue to bring you valuable and exciting information about technology and science. Have a good day, and see you in the following videos.